Hi, today's tutorial is talking about how to use stage sprites and backgrounds in MBlock 5. As we all know, MBlock 5 is actually partly block-based programming, and therefore there are a lot of features around the stage programming, including sprites and backgrounds. Through the tutorial today, we're going to explain how to understand the stage and also how to manage your sprites and backgrounds. Before we start, please run your uh, mblock program on your computer or visit ide.mblock.cc and this will be cross-platform with different devices. And if necessary, please log in your mblock profile as well. So let's look at the mblock uh, when we open and here is basically the stage we're talking about. Here is a place where you can de manage your device, the sprites and the background. Here is the block categories. Here are the block commands. And here is the workspace. Let's look at the blocks and block stage. So unblock stage is an interactive place where you can tell your stories or you can illustrate the programs. And here, basically, you can interact with your objects as well. Or you can use this to interact between the objects and the hardwares. What can we do with the stage? Uh, we can illustrate the behaviors of the sprites in the background. We can run and stop the programs. And we can set different sizes of the stage as well. So how do we add the sprites to the stage? Here is the method. When you select to the sprites on a panel and basically click the add button and here you can select a uh, sprite that you want from the library well there's also possibility that you can upload the picture from your computer or you can directly start to paint a brand new sprites for you once we add the sprites uh, there are some basic functions where you can already start to control the sprites here you can see the control panel that you can put uh, the coordinates of the sprite, the size, and the directions. You can also decide if you want to show the sprite directly or hide it. If you click the edit uh, sprite button, which is actually shown here, it says costumes, you open the costumes um, control panel where you can modify your sprites. On the left side, you will see different costumes and then you will see the paint tools there's workspace and edit tools it's important to understand what is a costume let's see we define two costumes for the panda and you see they have a little bit slightly different gestures on uh, between the costumes and in this uh, uh, part you will see the difference between two costumes so if I make a program that says when I click the green flag and the uh, sprite move 10 set steps, you will see every time I click, the sprite will move uh, forward 10 steps. But it doesn't change the shape. But if I do next costume here, you will see actually it's going to switch between the costumes. And then you can actually make a nice walking gestures. So here, this is what costumes does. Costume is basically a set of uh, different behaviors of that sprite. Other than the costumes, you can also change and manipulate different things in your workspace with a sprite costume. There are several different uh, functions here. Uh, there are very standard. You can select the move or brush or fill them. Please feel free to try it out. But there's actually one of the important extra features unblock have is about the mark the center points. So how do you mark the center points and why do you need it? Basically you see uh, as a costume it's a cover say surface. And but the, the coordinates of the costume actually has it's just the dots. So what we need to do is actually define what does it mean uh, on the costume, on the sprites and translate it to the coordinates on the stage. So you see, if we define different center points for the cost, uh, for the sprites, 
and you will find out actually the costume being aligned into different ways because they use the center points as the coordinates of the sprite. The next step would be how do we modify the background. So every program in mBlock, there, there is only one background. But like was, what we said, actually you can add multiple costumes to the background. And these costumes for background, they are actually called backdrop. So how do we add the backdrop uh, to the background? Basically just to click the plus button on the background panel. And then uh, it's, uh, it, there will be a modification uh, window open up. And there you can modify your costumes. You can also click the button costumes in order to modify all the backdrops. You can see the modification of a backdrop uh, are pretty the same uh, as the sprites, the costumes. And uh, you can change everything that you want to do with the offered tools here. And again, we also have two backdrops here uh, offered as an example. So last time we changed the next costume and this time we're going to change the program in the background. Basically, we click the background, you will see different sets of a block commands. We do click green flags, we go to looks, and we say once I click, the backdrop will be switched to the next one. So you see, actually, the panda will be walking through different two backgrounds here on the stage. All right, let's make an example. So how do we make a shiny and blinking name of ourselves? As a company name called MakeBlock, we're going to show you how to make a MakeBlock logo here. But we also change the behavior of the logos on different uh, costumes and also on different background drop, uh, backdrops. So I have already put on some of the letters on the uh, stage. But we're going to add the last one, which is the letter K. So this letter is actually called Z Glow minus K. And you will see the letter being added to the stage. Let's move it to the proper places. And now we want to define different costumes of every letter. So we select the M, we go to Costumes, and we add a new costume. You can also simply just duplicate the costume in order to have the same costume to start with. What we're going to do is basically to change the color of the costume on different letters. All right, all the letters are being changed. Now we're going to change the back, backdrops. So let's just select the different backdrops here uh, to show the city and lake. And what we are going to do is basically very similar to before. We're going to add all the programs to each letter as their behavior. And every time when we click the green flag, the costume of each letter will be switched back and forth. Once we finish with all the letters, we're going to move forward to the backgrounds. What we want to do is also when we click the button, we switch the backdrops. So then when we click the button, you see the make block logo is actually changing their behavior based on the different backgrounds. Then we can express different emotions on our names based on different scenarios. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial working about how to do uh, sprites and backgrounds with mBlock 5. More lessons and tutorials are coming with make block.